Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use UI Builder and Codeless Logic to fetch database records that include location information, such as geo points, and visualize those locations on the map. Before we go into UI Builder, let's review what we actually have in the database. And in here, I imported some sample data into a table called World Cities. The schema is very simple. It contains the city column, with the city name, country, and there is a special column called location. Notice that the data type for this, for this column is point, which is one of the data types supported by backhandless. The data in this data type for point contains latitude and longitude of uh, the corresponding locations, and then the backhandless can visualize this data either in the WKT, which is an industry standard format that stands for well-known text, or GeoJSON and you can switch between the two. But the cool thing about it is whenever you use geospatial data types, such as point, line string, polygon, you will see this checkbox called visualize. And when you click this checkbox, then all the records that you have in the current view, and you can change with paging, uh, number of records per page, whatever you have in the current view will be visualized on the map. However, what we are going to be doing is building a UI builder page that does something very similar. So for this, I will switch to the front end section. I already have a page that I put together that I will demonstrate how it works first, and then we will recreate this experience starting from, from scratch. Let me run this page. And as soon as the page is loaded, it fetches data. So, and just visualizes all the individual pins on the map. So let's see what it's going to take to build that uh, from scratch. Let's create a new page and call it World Cities. And on the right hand side, you will see a component that is called Google Map. Drag it out here. For me, the map renders automatically. When you do it, if you haven't pre-configured your UI Builder application, then you will not see this map. For the reason that you would need to go to Settings, and in here, under Google API Key, well, I already have my key in here, but there are three steps that, you well, there will be more because step number one includes some additional instructions. But the point is you will need to go through these steps to get your API Key and put it into here for the reason that Google Map component uh, must be licensed whenever it, you, it is used in web apps and mobile apps. But once you have it in there, you will have exactly the same uh, visualization and experience as I have it here. So the map is on the screen. You can change the zooming level just to show more of the world which will probably be good because we'll be fetching data from around the world. And let's assign an ID to our map. And let's call it World Cities. The data for this map will come from the database. So we will need to make an API call using Codeless to fetch data. And for this, I will switch, uh, click on the page and then switch to the logic for the page. Uh, the on page enter is the event that we are interested in. So click the green button to do that. And uh, let's just retrieve data from the database. It's going to be under data API, load table objects. So this will fetch data. Put in the table name, world cities, and just put 100 so we can get maximum page size. Whenever you configure Google Maps component, you will see this Google Map under UI library. And in here, you will see this block, set points to Google Map connected to the on page enter. And then this, if you connect it like this, which is kind of natural thing to do, will not work quite right. For the reason that the points must be a collection of objects and that each object must contain latitude and longitude information. So what we need to do is we need to go over this collection of all the table objects of all the world cities and ex extract the actual location information. And for this, there is a very, very convenient blog under lists that is called pluck collection. So drag it out here and connect pluck collection to points and load table objects to pluck collection and then specify property location. So what does pluck collection do? Well, it iterates over the collection returned by 
this block or whatever the collection that is associated here. And it goes over each and every object and extracts the specified property. And whatever is in that property will become an object that goes into the collection that is returned by plug collection. So essentially it's some sort of cleaner that just goes through, extracts everything, whatever, all the property that you identified out, and then returns the final collection. If I wanted to create, let's say, an array of city names, then here I would just put name, and this would return an array of strings. And then here it will be an array of objects, and each object has latitude and longitude. How do I know that it contains that? Well, because whenever we fetch data from the database, the location property has that point object uh, that Backhandless creates, and that point object has the required properties that is understood by the map. And that's all it's going to take. So if I return to user interface and run this page, there you go. It's going to be exactly the same experience as what I had originally demonstrated to you. That's all, it's, that's all it takes. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, happy codeless coding.